Hi you guys, welcome to the plus side. It's your girl AJ Marie. Today I will be playing with the new Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I will be swatching and also doing a look with this palette. So if you want to see what I come up with, stay tuned to this video. Cue the music. right on into the palette I'm really ex I was really excited about this palette I kept staring at it I never bought anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics um but I always thought that he had really pretty colors like he always came out with really uh different and unique colors and so I saw the androgyny palette this is the packaging right here really pink and pretty you know just how he likes it and um I kept staring at it and staring at it and I was like Contrary belief, I don't own a lot of eyeshadow palettes, and I don't have these colors in this quality. Quality. Okay? So I saw these colors, I kept staring at them, I was like, no, I really, I really am in love with them. So here is the packaging. Try to cover the mirror a little bit. But it's so pretty, I love this detail right here. Here are the colors that I fell in love with, like how freaking pretty are these? like the deep blues the greens the burgundies like I saw a lot of people comment like oh I have these colors I'm like I don't though and I love them <laughs> so let's get into swatching them I'm just gonna go row for row I'm just gonna start here and then down here so y'all can so see the first colors. is frosting which is this pretty shimmery gold they feel so soft and I feel bad like messing it up this is it on the finger and then I'm going to swatch it on my arm. I'm going to try to do better. That is so freaking pretty. Okay. There you go. You can see it better. And I'll do, I'll take a picture because I know sometimes the glare is not allowing me to show you the full picture. Next is a safe word, which I believe will match my skin tone, which I was really excited about. This is it on the finger. really pretty really skin tone definitely going to be my transition color next is going to be charm which is this pretty orangey yellow orange this is it right here i'm going to swatch it right next to safe word there's that orange here i really really love this color especially with my skin tone it could be so warm you know what i mean Next one is Deja Vu. This color, man. Look at that. Yes. I'm going to put that right next to Charm. Oh, oh, my God. Holy mother. Isn't that beautiful? Next, I'm going to do Dominatrix. I like the name of that. They feel so soft, y'all. So soft. This is Dominatrix. I'm gonna swatch that right next to Deja Vu. I do not have this quality, okay? I'm sorry. I don't. It's really pretty. Next, I'm gonna do Androgyny, which is a really pretty lighter, uh, I don't know. Say like a deep mauve tone. Yeah, like a really deep, um, kind of purpley, mauve tone. I really like this color. This color was also, like, speaking to me. I was like, I don't have that color at all, so. Next, I'm going to do Fetish, which is, like, this terracotta color. It does have a shimmer to it. It's really pretty. Like, how pretty is that? That's really pretty. Military, which I was really excited about. I love green eyeshadows with brown eyes. I'm wiping my hands off, by the way, so the colors won't mix. <laughs> and this is that color. I'm not flicking it off. That's why I'm trying to just do the piece by. <laughs> and I'm going to put that right next to Fetish. Fetish. 
I love that. Now, some shadows are more pigmented than others. Like, for instance, Androgyny, the first swatch was a little lighter, and you probably would have to put another swatch on top. And also, Military is a little lighter. But I still like the color and I still like the pigmentation that is coming through. So I'm not mad about it. But yeah, compared to like Deja Vu, which is like, bam. You know what I mean? It's a little light. You know what I mean? Okay. So next is Poison, which is like a blue-green. This is so freaking pretty. Like, this, these blues, like, I have, but they're not good quality. You know what I mean? They're lower quality shadows. This, again, is not as pigmented as Deja Vu, which, I'm, which to me is, like, the most pigmented. But I can still see the color, and I definitely think when you do a look, it's still going to look nice. Like, some things don't always have to be that, you know, bam, pigmentation. But in case you wanted to buy it, I want to keep it real. The three colors aren't as pigmented as the other. But they feel really soft though. This one is Swallow. Which, again, I'm not flicking you off, but it's a really, really pe pretty deep blue. The name is like <laughs> throwing me off. I made that face because look how light it is. I wanted this really deep blue pigment. <laughs> kind of sad about that one. Let me try to double swatch it. That's what two finger swatches and as you can see it's like it's like light. It's not as pigmented. That bummed me out a little bit. But yeah, these are all the swatches and I will take photos of them and show you guys. Overall, even though some of them are not, to me, as pigmented, like I said, I can still work with them and I'm not mad about it. But, I want to let y'all know, to be real, you know? So, yeah, now I'm going to do a look with this eyeshadow palette, okay? So, yeah. Alright, so I got you guys kind of close up and I'm just going to be in my mirror and I got the Glamazon washi tape on because I want that sharp line. So yeah, first color, I put my primer on, I'm using my LA Colors primer. First color I'm going to use, I know for sure, is a safe word right here. I want to use this not only to set the primer, but use it as my base, you know, my base color. These feel so nice on. And I'm not having any trouble like applying it, which is really nice. It's a little dark. It looks a little darker than it does in the pan. I'm not mad at it, I'm just saying. Okay, so now, I have no idea you guys. Now I think I'm going to use Charmed in my crease because I really love that orange color. Charmed right here. And use it as my, my crease and transition shade. Oh yeah, y'all love that orange. Let me put it in more so you can see what I'm talking about. It's really pretty. Just doing that windshield wiper motion, bringing it up, kind of making it look like a sunrise. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of fallout, but not that much. that to my other eye as well I 
I'm having no problem blending you guys which is really nice all right so now I have my sunrise going on here <laughs> And now I want to deepen it a little bit. So I want to use Dominatrix right here on my inner and outer lid. I wanted to do something kind of simple. The only thing I knew for sure is that I wanted to use all the warm colors because they're so freaking pretty. Like, they're all like deeper tones, but I really wanted to use the browns and golds and bronzes. That's all I knew. And I'm just going to put it, like I said, on my inner and outer corner of both my eyes. And then I'm just going to blend the two colors together like within my crease. I'm going to blend it out with my uh, orange and my equal tools brush. And just kind of blend, you know, the brown with the crease and the orange. And now I really just wanted to use this really pretty deja vu like color is so stinking pretty that really pretty bronzy color and just put that in the middle of my lid because that's so pretty Oh my god, I love it, y'all. I love that sheen. Okay, so this is the look that I got going on right now. Um, what I'm going to do is apply some inner corner highlight, which I think I'm going to use frosting right here for my inner corner. Mm -mm. I have so many brushes like around it's ridiculous just want to use my luxe brush and put it in my inner corner just so freaking pretty frosting is frosting for this just in my inner corner and on my brow bone just a little bit I don't want too much I don't want too much oh my god I say I don't want too much and put like but frosting is really pigmented in my defense mm-hmm and then the same these on the other side like, I barely put my brush in this. Okay. I really like that. Just brushing it more out to get, you know, so it won't look all harsh underneath. Alright, so what I'm going to do is put on my foundation and all that stuff. I wanted to wait and then I'll do like my under eyes. So I'm not completely done with the eyeshadow palette yet, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I applied um, my base and everything on my out. Put my foundation on and bronzer. And now to finish up my eyes. So I'm just going to take that Deja Vu 
right here and just put it under my lower lash line because I'm just loving this color. It's like my favorite color in the palette. I'm just smudging it underneath. So really warm and tropical. That's how I feel in my box. Here. I'm just going to take my brown wet and wild pencil and put that in my waterline just to keep within the warm tones. I don't know what the color this is. Oh, it's my brown now. My fave. <laughs> and just put that in my waterline. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Try to debate whether I want to put eye. Right. I mean, uh, I'm trying to debate on whether to put liner on, but I don't think you need it. I don't want it to be too dark. You know what I mean? So never mind. I'm going to use my superhero mascara. I finally got the large version. I've been using the sample size for like I don't know how long. And I am just going to voluminize these eyelashes here. I love the wand on the large one. Yeah, I don't think you need, like, look at my eyelashes. I don't think you need no liner <laughs> at all. You can see the difference. My eye look kind of... <laughs> oh, my God. I love this mascara so much. You have no idea. But that oh is it for my eye look. I really am loving it. I feel very tropical, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm just going to apply like a nudie pink lip. I think I'm going to use the Revlon Ultra HD lip color um, with my Wet n Wild like brownish nudist pencil. Um, this is their True Matte. And this is in the color Seduction. And of course I'm going to apply me some highlights so I can bling bling, you know what I mean? And that's it. Alright, so I'm all done with this look. I really like it. I really feel like um, I'm going on vacation somewhere. Like, I'm getting really uh, warm uh, Jamaican-y uh, island -y vibes. I just put on my uh, HD Revlon Matte <laughs> Liquid Lip and it's Seduction. And I also combined that with this pencil from Wet n Wild. This, oh, why I'm looking so hard. Willow. That's the name of this color combined with this for my lips. And of course, I use my glow kit. Um, the highlighter I use is Glow Getter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really, really love this palette. Like I said, not all the colors are as pigmented as the others, you know what I mean, while swatching it. But it blends really good. It's really nice. And I have fun playing in it and just experimenting. Like I said, I'm getting very warm, sun, islandy vibes. But I really, really like it. Almost dropped it again. Um, Minimum Fallout.
if you're ever getting anything from um jeffree star cosmetics the shipping was super easy the process and everything i didn't have any issues with shipping or time it actually came two days earlier than what it said so i'm really happy with this actually i'm really happy with it so yeah i can't wait to play in the blues and the greens and stuff like that like really play with it i definitely try to use my palette like throughout the month while i'm filming so you'll probably see more of this palette <laughs> on my eyes but yeah i'm really feeling it i'm really liking it so yeah that's all i have to say about that awesome so uh, thank you so much for viewing this video i really hope you like it if you did please give me a thumbs up please subscribe and comment if you have any questions about anything just comment below if you have video suggestions comment below i really like hearing from you um thank y'all so much again for viewing this video all my social media links will be down below don't forget to check out my blog as well and i will see you all next friday i love you guys so much bye